Every house that you walk past <laughs> is like from Pinocchio. We bought a house in Germany. We're on our way to Rothenburg and we're making our lunch on the train. <laughs> Good to have a table. Yeah, it's pretty good. Then we heated this up and now we're putting it on our wraps. Flask. Yeah, our avocado in this little yogurt container. Ingridi's favorite little town, guys. She's loved this place so far. <laughs> it's like a Disney movie. It, I'm in I'm in my paradise. Like <laughs> every house that you walk past is like yeah, it's like from Pinocchio. Yeah, I feel like I I said to Michael, I really wish I made a Belle costume and brought it here and I would be Belle in her little town. Like, that's what it feels like right now. It is like the dreamiest place I have ever been. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a set. <laughs> Wait, let me show you. Kind of feels like we're on a set too. Yeah, it does feel like we're yeah. on a set. Like, Look at all these this is all, this is all fake, stuff. right? Like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. This is... The dream. I feel like the camera is not doing a full justice. <laughs> like, it looks so much better than what I saw in film. Wow. Just wow. I can dream better Knowing that he will dream of me I'm secure when I Know I'm a moment from his reach I guess I just love better because of the way that he's loved me I won't let him go with me On our way to Aldi to get some groceries We um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we're, we're, we're on a mission right now to go to Aldi <gasps> But I just want to stop at every house because every house is beautiful <laughs> and the flowers in the window. She's so happy. I'm so happy. So we're going to Aldi. Germany, I'm pretty sure, is the founder of Aldi, right? I think so. We think so. We need to look that up, fact up. It looks like a great Aldi. There it is. There's the house. Oh my gosh. This is just a dream. What the heck? What the actual heck? I need to get a photo there in my dress. I do not care <laughs> how cold I will be. Oh my gosh. I wonder if that's a hotel. But we're going to Aldi and we're gonna get some groceries. We didn't realize we didn't have a fridge at this accommodation. And so we actually had chicken for dinner, but now we can't cook our chicken. So we're kind of a bit bummed about that. Yeah, we can't even store it in a fridge. Can't even store it in a fridge. So it literally is just gonna go off. So that's a bit sad. We'll see you at Aldi. Oh, check this out guys. Like. How cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everything's cute. Um, excuse me, Australia. Why don't we have this? Why don't we have our own pastry section in Audi? Please get better. <laughs> and. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Look at this, guys. They don't sell crust. They decrust the bread. Isn't that so wasteful? Like every bread has no crust on it. Even the normal loaves, not just the fancy ones. It's so weird. Okay, what's happening, brides? Excuse me, Australia. We don't have a bakery dispenser. You literally press a button and you get whatever you want. I think that's how it works. Go okay, try it out. Okay, I'm gonna get a pretzel. Okay. okay what about this one? Just decide, bub. I might get this one because then I might get a real pretzel. Like okay. One from somewhere else. There you go. Put it in the bag. I think this is a pretzel. It's warm. I think this is a pretzel. It's just a different type. Don't know. It looks good. Can I eat it? No. I can't. You gotta eat it after. You haven't paid for it. What about this one? Don't touch that. Ew. So cool. <laughs> All right, give it a go, brides. Here is what I think. I think this is a pretzel. Some like kind a, of pretzel-y thing. Has it got cheese on it's it? It's got cheese on it. I don't know what it was called, but it feels very soft. It was like 50 cents. It was like 39 cents, was it? That was no. the other pretzel. Ah. Whoa, it's actually very doughy. 
Aldi pretzel, it's pretty good. I like it. Could live off it. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. Yeah? I like it. Flavor's good. That's great. Can you try some? Sure. Mmm. Actually, still has a bit of crunch. Still has a bit of crunch? It's like a savory bread. Better than I thought. Yeah. It's 8 a.m., guys. Good morning. We're uh, we're strolling the streets while no, not many people are up, and it's so yeah, there's beautiful. Yeah, like no one up. It's like no one up, and it's it's eight. If this was Noosa, everyone would be up by five. <laughs> um, Friday wants to get some photos, so yeah. she's dressed up. I'm but dressed she's up. Freezing. I'm so cold. Even I'll I'm show cold. You my outfit. I'm wearing a dress under here. It's a very summery dress, and my feet are frozen. <laughs> Just to get a photo and then we're gonna get changed. She's still got her thermals and stuff under Yeah, it, I've but... got pants and all that sort of stuff under Well, we did our little photo shoot. I am officially frozen. Hopefully those photos turned out. We took some film photos as well. Um, but my hands and my toes are frozen. So we're going back to the apartment to get warm. Well, I'm going to get warm. Even Michael said he's cold. Like he it said, is cold. He said it's a freezing morning and I'm it wearing is. a dress. It's very crisp. Yeah. It was really warm when we came here yesterday though. So maybe the sun warms up the town during the day. Yeah. But in the morning there's no, no sun hitting. So it's just cold. It's meant to be sunny today though. <gasps> there's the... There's the um, tulips. tulips. Oh, they're closed. Were they open yesterday? They were definitely more open. Probably because of the sun. Isn't this so pretty? Just like this little tulip garden that someone owns. Accommodation was shut. The doors were shut, so we bought a pretzel. This is the pretzel. Michael's getting into it. Tastes good. Tastes good? I wish it was warm. Oh, it's not warm? Can we get it heated? Dang. Schneeballen, which is a snowball. Schneeballens, I think. I'm not sure. They're a classic Western bird food. Yeah. It does crumble like a snowball. Mm -hmm. Does it taste okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has a nutty flavor. This one's better. This shop here is the coolest shop ever. You have to go in, especially if you like medieval times. We went in, it's so cool. Like they do this festival twice a year in May and September and they the whole all, town the whole up. town dresses up in medieval costumes and they have like sword fights and this is where everyone gets their costumes this is like the type of stuff that's in here the you swords a dagger for 21 euros 21 euros and it's like heavy and good quality it's not plastic it's like metal it's so so cool you can get chainmail armor here the dresses in there they're like 85 euros, which is actually pretty good. I was messaging Amelia and I was saying that we should come back in May or September one year and we should all dress up into medieval costumes. Also, I want to come back at Christmas time because I feel like Christmas time would be so special here because it's like yeah, all the Christmas cute would houses amazing. would be decorated and the There'd Christmas be snow markets. On the roofs. There'd be snow on the roofs. It would just be so magical. And there's like Christmas stuff here Christmas everywhere. Like just right when we're walking past there's Christmas things. Anyways, we're going to take a photo in front of that house the there. The very famous house. The very famous house. See why it's famous? It's on the corner. It has the bell tower behind it. Right it's very tried quirky. tried multiple times to I've get photos here. I've tried multiple times and there's been so many tourists in front of it. Not so and a many. crane. And a crane in the morning. So this time is the time. The sun is slightly on the on the clock tower and on the roof so hopefully it looks good and we're leaving tomorrow so we've got to get the shot I got
Got a ticket in my hand to you I'm canceling all my plans for you we bought a house in Germany, a little house, a it's little a windmill, tiny, apparently. well it's not a windmill, a it's a mill, it's a, a clay version of it. They have really cool clay versions of each little house here and we bought this one right in front of us which is actually crazy to see. Is this the one? This is it. This is the house we bought. All the other ones are really colourful. I wanted a more, a more non-colourful one because I want to use it for Christmas time. It looks like a hostel. Yeah, yeah. It must be. Oh, it is. It is? It's a youth hostel now. It's not a mill anymore. But we got that one because it was one of the cheapest ones yeah, and it was the biggest one we could find because it's the bigger you go, the more expensive it is. But it looks really cute. I'll show you a little photo here. Here's a better view of our little house. So now we're trying to find like a view of the... People walking up there. Oh. We're trying to find a view of the whole town because they have the town surrounded by this brick Big wall, wall, this massive wall, and so you can see the sunset view from the brick wall. We're going to try and see if we can get up here. So this is kind of the edge of the town. You can see that this is like the wall here, and we just walked through this like massive tunnel. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Look at that! That's so cool. We just learned that these are fish tanks and that they would put fish in here so that the town could survive when there was like, I don't know, shortage of food or what would it say? Sa siege? Yeah, maybe a siege. I, I don't know what a siege is. 1830 though. 1830. Wow. We worked out that um, the tower that we wanted to go to, I think it's like a church and it has like a really tall tower that you can go up the top i think that's free and it closes at 12 30 so we didn't get to go up it but we found this instead sweet little garden over there and the sun setting over here which is really nice michael's reading some history there used to be a castle here oh really yeah did it collapse don't know what happened this is the outside world and then that's the town and a little sunset seat cute yeah, yeah. eating breakfast with Neil's family. So Neil's yeah. is our friend from Australia and um, we met his parents and we're eating a German breakfast. It is the sweetest so thing nice. ever. We have loved our stay here. This is our first time eating a classic German breakfast. Yeah, yeah and they so have cool. like this meat that looks raw, but it's like actually really good. Uh, what do you call this one? Met. Yes. Met. <laughs> it's basically just meat, but you call it met. Different it's version. raw meat. It's raw it's pork. pork. Yes. And they put onions with it. And it's just very fascinating. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> but it tastes really good. It tastes really good, yeah. yeah. No matter the way, no matter the pain, no heartache, I promise. All of those lonesome nights apart, you'll be back in my arms. No matter the way. Stretch between 